Hi guys. I got my big box from Germany this morning. It's the second one to come by sea. So it takes about a four to six weeks to come. And it is that big. <laughs> and I'm also testing out my new microphone. I had uh, some people say they couldn't hear me. So you might not be able to hear me at all if I didn't hook it up right. So I did a test and it seemed to work. So the first thing I noticed in the box, I did sort of unwrap it because I was afraid it might be busted. But it has survived. It is one of those coral trees they do in Erzgebirge, um, Germany for Christmas displays. Oh, and it has a... Um, oh, handmade in DDR. So this is actually old. This is East Germany. Oh, actually, I lied. There's two curls. <laughs> Amazing. Because it was on the edge. So I see some, some claws in this one. Claws in a bag. No, it's not claws, it's antlers. It's a deer. And, um, and yes, I have my totes to sort them. And another deer. That'll be nice for uh, Christmas displays. Yes, they're both stiff. One has his button and tag. And this next bag I just took out, it squeaked when I put it down. So I'll have to see what is squeaking down there. It probably would be helpful if I tried to open all these knots ahead of time, wouldn't it? I don't like to rip these bags because I actually use them. They're nice and big for storage. So here's some interesting things. We have a little wool frog. Oh, and a very cute Dalmatian. He needs a bit of a bath. I think uh, he's one of the old guys. And we have a poodle. And he is a um, snobby poodle in black. A penguin. A fish, which I'm pretty sure that's not stife, although uh, unless it's a new issue because they didn't come in that size in the original. Oh, this must be the squeaker. A sleepy. Oh, and he, he turns. Now, isn't that fun? Wow, that's different. <laughs> uh, lammy lamb, floppy lammy lamb. He doesn't have his, his uh, head. And here is a smaller deer. So I'm going to be all set for Christmas display people. And we have Bambi deer. Also Stiff, but this is the Disney version, licensed by Walt Disney Productions back in the day, 60s. Uh, here's Raven with his metal legs. Wild Boar. He has blue eyes. No button. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be all of them in here. That would be amazing. If there were all of them. Oh, he is Mark. Disney Productions. Walt Disney Productions. So he is on the older side for sure. And a velvet frog. Stay. A little wee bunny rabbit. Stay. Oh, he's cute. And he has his button. Stay. That's Pummy Rabbit, if I'm not mistaken. Swivel head. Oh, and we have a big rocky Capricorn goat, yes, of the uh, um, horoscope guys, and he has his button. Another Bambi. No button. Yes, this is definitely the field and forest. 
<laughs> or on a little guy with his original silk ribbon. Running bunny, I call him. And I he, think I see more squeakers in here. Could it be all of the dwarves? It's always a surprise. No, but it's different. He, he don't think he squeaks anymore. This is I have had the small version of him. I'll have to look up what I what I uh, know him to be. Here's another really hard rubber guy. This is this is going to be like a hard rubber guy. Don't know what he is, but he has a pal. <laughs> And goodness knows what's in here. All right. These are music boxes. Huh. Interesting. Japan. So these are actual music boxes. There's four of them in here. Four jewelry boxes. And a little doggy that I'm not sure who he is. I'm not thinking he's Stife. Okay, a big box. This is a big bag this time. And a big bear. He doesn't, oh, he does growl a little bit. Uh, he could be Herman. And he has got something really hard inside. And I have no idea. Because there's nothing exterior to indicate why he's solid hard. See? I can't throw him. <laughs> This has got something handwritten on his foot. So he may be an artist bear. Very cute. And here's an oldie. Very well loved. He needs a bath and he needs his paw fixed. See that's uh, wood wool, excelsior stuffing. They've already been covered once. You can see the original felt underneath. And here's a cutie Stife original teddy, mask bear. They call them mask bears because their snout and around their eyes are shaved. And here is a little zoddy bear. He doesn't squeak anymore. He doesn't bend either. Oh, and here's a nice zoddy bear. He also needs a bit of a bath. You know it's Zoddy by Stife because of his apricot bib, even if he has no ID. Because Herman does a Zoddy bear, but there is no bib. And a couple of miniature ones. Okay. I'm thinking this is stuffing, yes, for the box. There are some boxes in there too. It's been interesting to see what came in them. And uh, this morning I put club soda in my coffee. So it's a bit of a froggy morning. Ha ha ha. He's a stife. He's very cute. Oh, and with the deer theme, here's a lovely Stife Fawn. Isn't she pretty? No button on that one. Here's a funny little bear. It's made to look um, 
the face. Oh my goodness, it's escaping me. It'll, it'll come to me in a minute. But it's a certain style from the original teddy bears from when Roosevelt wouldn't shoot. Here is a kangaroo with his button. He also needs a bath, but a very nice kangaroo. And he doesn't, oh, it is a he because there's no pouch. I haven't seen one without a pouch before. And we have our Jocko Chimp. And he is a stife. You can see the hole in his ear. Jockos are always fun. Oh, and we have a giraffe trapped with a cozy crab. <laughs> that is cute. Also stife. And here's a little guy. He has his button. Little bunny. And a cute little bear in his formal outfit. This is not a stife. The face is entirely different. So I will have to see what I can find out on him. And here is a teddy baby. And that's a replica, meaning it's uh, still a stife, of course, but it's more modern made from the original um, pattern. And we have a funny looking joggy hedgehog. It's one of the upright styles they did in the 50s. And here is another joggy, only this is the laying down version. And another bunny. They did lo loads of bunny rabbits, all in different poses. Yes, I'm into another bag already. And speaking of another joggy in a different size, and he has his tag. Oh, and an actual rainy reindeer with his tag. Now that, if that doesn't say Santa and Christmas, I don't know what does. And he has a, a fellow one. So, Dasher and Dancer, <laughs> here we go. And a nice play horse, pony, and that's Stife. He has his saddle. He hasn't got his button. Oh, and a turkey. How perfect for Thanksgiving. He's this turkey with his metal legs. And he's Stife. And I always like Peep's mouse. Peep's mouse with his red eyes and his tags. And we have... Naggy Beaver. Yes, I will leave that alone. <laughs> and here is a Marmot. Also Stife, both of them. And a goat with his little, he's a baby goat, he has little horns. And he doesn't have his tag or his button, but he has his, the hole where it was. And another, another uh, Capricorn goat, this one's a smaller size. I did a lot of their animals in different sizes. Here's Bessie Cow. She's got her horns and her collar and her dewlap and her felt udder. Utterly wonderful. And Naggy Beaver in a larger size. Button, little uh, tooth. Oh, and the tail. And here's a little keki squirrel, little miniature red squirrel. Owl. And it's a stife, but it's just a hole where his button was. Perry squirrel. This is actually a Walt Disney production thing from back in the 60s. I don't remember ever seeing a Perry squirrel in Disney, but it is sponsored by Disney. And just to show that other makers make joggy, this is actually a Herman hedgehog in the style of joggy. And here's another little red squirrel, um, posse squirrel style. And this is the baby wild boar, little mouth, 
chewed up ear where his button was, blue eyes, the baby version, and here's even a baby ear version. This one's in velvet. It's also the wild boar. And we've got Zori Fox. It's also Stife. He just needs a bit of a brush. And here's a little miniature posse squirrel with his tag. Oh, I feel another rubber, so I think it is going to be another dwarf to match the couple of others we've seen so far. Yes! Dopey! <laughs> And, yeah, he's got the same mark, Walt Disney Productions, so I don't see any other further writing, but those are going to be fun. Oh, and this is a doll, velvet. Her hair is starting to come out. It's a, a doll by Nora Welling. She came out with all kinds of uh, the native dolls from different islands and things. She needs a little bit of TLC. And who doesn't love a budgie? Got a tag. It's got a button, but it appears to be a blank button. And a blank button generally means it was sold at the store, uh, the Stife store in the factory. Franzi Parakeet. Does he not look real with his markings? And we have another bird with metal legs. Yes, safe. This is a Shuko. Crazy cat. Yes. Speaking of crazy cats, someone came to visit the crazy cat. <laughs> Shuko, if I didn't say that. Shuko has to go over there. And this appears to be a stife. Haven't seen this one. It's a a poodle with no nose. Different. And here is a Dachshund dog. It's a Stife, Hexy Dachshund. And this is a Dachshund dog. Waldy Dachshund. He's got his button and tag. Very pretty copper color. And his, bu <clears throat> his buddy, Waldy. And this is a, a Herman poodle. Got the Herman swing tag. So 60s. Herman poodle over the Dushuko. And for more nativity scenes, we've got, oh, this is U.S. zone. See this tag here, made in U.S. zone? That is only for that short period of time between 1947 and 1953. So he... Oh, he, I put him in the wrong bin. Oh dear. Um, what else is, oh, the mate, Hansy, Hansy Parakeet. This one doesn't have a button, but he has his tag. So we have a pair of budgerigars. And a tur another um, turkey for Thanksgiving. Yay. And I'm not sure, but Millennium Falcon, Star Wars. Interesting, don't know. I will have to look that up. You never know what you're gonna get. Now this is different. This is Max Carl. This tag is no, uh, commonly known as the monkey head label. It's Max Carl, uh, Germany, wind up. Looks like he does work. He walks. Wagner made these for Max Carl in Germany. And very popular mechanical <clears throat> toys, especially if they work. And another cute bunny by Stife. Okay. 
put just one more bag in here, and then we have boxes. We've got three dwarfs so far, so I'm not sure if there'll be any more dwarves. Now, of course, this one is tough to get into. There we go. Okay, breaking the string here. Okay, what do we got? We have Siamese kitty cat, which is a Siamese cat, Stife. We have a very well-loved bear, almost bald. Don't know who he is. We have another type of Zoddy bear, and this one has his ID. Note the apricot bib. He's very squishy, but not jointed. And a rather old fella. He has the look of a stife, but I will have to investigate further because he hasn't got his button. He's on the older side as well. And this guy, I know who made him, he needs a bath. This is by Diem Germany, D-I-E-M. Diem Teddy Bear Germany. He has flat feet and his eyes are the clear glass and fairly close together. Makes him quite um, easy to recognize. Now we have other stuff. In the down the side here, looks like some kids' books. This one. Passen is the only thing I can read, being German for rabbit. But it is a little board book in German. So that's kind of cool. Oh, and here's another Hassan rabbit book. Almost looks like the uh, the ones they have on China, bunnykins. I have to put that down the side. All right. Oh, look, a toaster. I don't think so. <laughs> Which way is up on the toaster box? Wonder what it might be. Uh -huh. Trying not to slice myself here. This is kind of like a uh, George Wars. Oh my gosh! Now we go to commercial. <laughs> it is more stife. There's another bunny with his button. And another bunny. Snuffy bunny with his button. And an owl with his button. Yay! And another bunny with his button. <laughs> There's other stuff. And here we have a spaniel doggy puppet and we have some roses teddy bear people could use them then we have a bench a miniature bench then we have hands are but I means handmade <laughs> that's about as far as I can yet let's see what's in oh my handmade angel but um 
it's he is in the box interesting handmade angel in a box I guess you just take the lid off to display him and I'm going to guess this is a flute or a recorder yes it is isn't that and it's by Venus a flute or a recorder um, here's a little tin with love it says confectionaries but I don't think so what could be in the confectionery tin that's taped shut I'm trying not to scratch the tin okay there is a little china mouse there is a type of charm bracelet no kitty you can't play with the knife <laughs> And some other little bits and pieces. I'm getting stuff all over me, but that's interesting. Um, what do I do with the lid? Now yeah, I hear you, kitty. Oh, it's underneath. Okay. <laughs> what else is in here? A. Um icon religious icon of some kind that looks like it's hand drawn but professionally framed a box um don't know cards from Pictures of guys from the 1700s through the 1800s. So I'm not sure if it's a game or flashcards. It's kind of old. Interesting. Here's a little decrepit guy. Very old. Huh. Have to investigate him. <laughs> There's a tin in here. It's heavy. It's a fish tin. Haribo fish tin. Haribo makes those gummies. There isn't gummies in here. Not unless they weigh 40 pounds each. Oh, there's more tape. Okay. Alrighty then. There's. Oh, this is a very old glass frame. Some ancient art. Contessa. Oh, it's a harmonica. Contessa. Okay. Made in Germany, of course. Um, there's a squirrel necklace in here. Squirrel. Squirrel. I don't know why I just spoke Italian. <laughs> okay. Mm. There's something else at the bottom here. These are all Kinder Prize um, caps. Probably a collectible. And there's some ooh, Kinder toys. And Kinder thingies. Okay. Okay, the thingies I have to investigate later. Let's 
else in here? This is very late. Very, very late. And it has lots of peanuts. Oh, wow. Here we go. This is a Halloween Kitty Velvet Stife. How, how appropriate for Halloween. <gasps> oh my. This is very rare. It's the snail, Nelly Snail with the ID. Oh my goodness. I got a Nelly Snail. That's why it's in here. Okay, what else is in here? And it's the little salamander. He's rare too. Velvet. That is so cool. I got a snail. That might be tough to give up. <laughs> Just saying. He is a little pet special. Oh my goodness. There, put that over there. Just a couple more things. This is quite heavy. And then the box. Oh goody. <laughs> it's wooden stuff. The wooden stuff is very popular. There's a lady. Oh, look at this. Dolls and candle holders. A lot of this stuff is urge to burge that I don't know how to pronounce properly, but it's a region in Germany where they make this stuff. Oh, this is a lid to a little box that's in there. This is so cool. And there's little chicks and oh, bobbleheads. That one's going to be Japan. I believe. Oh, this is something China, as in ceramics. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's actually old country roses. English old country roses. How bizarre! Here's a little box. This. What's in there? Blocks. This is building blocks. Matchbox toys. It makes puzzles. Probably several. And there's lots of little figures in here. There's another. Maybe that is. My, no. It's a, this is. I don't know. Little yellow things. I don't know if they form. Oh no. That's what. It's what's on the uh, the front of the box little yellow things in a person in red in the box and cute little figures very cool okay I didn't have a mess to clear up when I turned this off uh, the last two things This one has some weight to it. <laughs> Schildkraut. It's a uh, German toy company. Babington or whatever it is. Paddle ball, anyone? These are the little characters that are rubber that have names on them. Pamaki. <laughs> There's some wraps. Oh, here's a little wagon. I don't know if it's for the Pamaki people. Here's a toadstool. Here's a little Hummel plate, and it is Hummel. So quite the variety. Here's a little book with a tie. And it has inside, I don't know what, little 
notebook. So somebody's little treasure. There's a couple of wrap things like this. Oh, okay, so that means there's probably four of them. Little uh, pottery cups. <laughs> All carefully wrapped so I can clink them together. So one last one. And then I get to go and look at them more closely. This might be something in its original box, or it could be a complete surprise. You just never know. Okay. Yep, it's a complete surprise. We have... Wagner cows and wooden stuff. Don't know what the wooden stuff is. So let me see. The cows are kind of in the way of the wooden stuff. <laughs> I think it's a school desk. Okay, I can tell it's a school desk with a, the top opening. So I will leave the cows in there for now because I don't want to disturb anything. So that is my haul from Germany. Bye C. It's here. Thanks for watching.